Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I am showing you one of my mini designs. This is one of my exclusives from Hong Kong. It is their Chinese fan dingle series. It is the bracelet, the clips, and the dangle. I love these. I recently added these purple Muranos because I thought they would be so pretty with the pinks and the fan. They are. Um, technically these are what I call mini designs and that the whole bracelet is obviously not full and I don't know that it ever will be. I don't typically want to add, you know, a character beads or memory charms of places that I've been to these. Now I do have a cruise scheduled to Singapore next, next year, year after, I don't remember. Um, and so that might be the only exception is if I found a whole bunch of charms that fit one of these mini designs. I have three rose gold mini designs. Um, then I may at some point add something like that. But if I did of all three bracelets that I have, and I will link the videos below, I'm doing a little look at all three of them. This is the bracelet I would add to because it is uh, both the emptiest and does not have specific meaning like the other two do for me. So I like these mini designs because while they are not full and y'all know I like a full bracelet, they stack really well with my full bracelets. So I don't necessarily like to stack two or three full bracelets together. It's heavy and it gets a little uncomfortable and the charms just get lost when you stack two or three together. You don't know where to look because it just looks like an arm of charms. And so I like to, to stack a full bracelet with a mini design and either an open bracelet or a uh, tennis bracelet or something a little daintier. This one I actually do really like to stack with my travel bracelet. It brings out the rose gold and all of these charms really well. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is a teeny tiny mini design, so it will not take long to look at, but I'm still excited to show it to you. Let's get started. All right, so the clasp is the full round Chinese fan design. It is scalloped, which is super pretty, and it's not threaded. So you can put your charms right over the sides, which typically I prefer threads, but since I do have clips on this one, it's not a huge deal. Let's see on the inside, there's the hallmarks. A-L-E-M-E-T. And for the actual bracelet, it is a snake chain. It does not have any thread stations. So the clips themselves are silicone lined. So they won't go over clip stations. They're the type you can slide anywhere and they will stay and stop your charms, which is really nice on these non threaded bracelets because you can have a small design or a big design and you're not uh, limited to the space in between the thread stations. The actual clips themselves have the half fans. Look at those CZs. So they're dark pink to clear and they go around and have the same design on the other side. A-L-E-M-E-T. They are clear on the other side. Then the third piece, which is the dangle fan, has a very small bail, but it does have the CZs. And then the big CZs with the fan design down below. This is a very pretty pendant. It would be pretty on a necklace as well. A-L-E-M-E-T. This whole design, if you didn't have the bracelet, would actually be really pretty on an O-ring. 
Then last but not least, I just added these. I got them in a Rula La haul and they are the purple Muranos with the rose gold on the sides. They say Pandora, A-L-E, M-E-T. They are very dark purple. Like my mom has a set and she's convinced they're black. They are purple, and in the right light, you can kind of see the light shine through them, which is really fun. But for the most part, they just look this deep matte purple. They also have these Muranos in the light turquoise and in the baby pink, which I want those light pink ones so bad. And the pink would be pretty on this. They just wouldn't be as much contrast, so I don't... I don't know if I would like that or not. I didn't buy these specifically for this mini design, but I really like them on here, especially because before I just had the specific Chinese fan pieces, the two clips in the pendant and then the clasp, of course. So this makes it a little bit more of an actual design with the Muranos and it gives the pendant a little bit of space. I really enjoy this one and I enjoy stacking it and because it doesn't have those thread stations you can see it's a little uh it's a little stiffer even though I do wear it and so when I put it on it tends to stay um, on top of my wrist and doesn't uh, flip around with those peds that much which is nice Maybe eventually it will loosen up and stop doing that. I don't know because most snake chains do eventually loosen up, but I've had this one for like two years now and it still hasn't. So go figure, but I'll take it. All right. I hope you liked this bracelet. If you did like, comment, subscribe, let me know um, if there's a certain bracelet you want to see in my collection. You can go back. I will link my entire Pandora collection video down below. Um, but in the meantime, I have two more rose gold mini designs I'm going to go show you. So look out for those in the next couple weeks. Bye, y'all.